Hey guys, I'm Gabe Ziegler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're talking about the Slash Octafuzz from MXR. Before we get started, let's talk about the general construction of this pedal and all the controls. Okay, so basically the, uh, the Octave Fuzz is a uh, throwback to the old 60s Fuzz Octaves, which were designed to create this really gnarly, angry, little, harsh, uh, fuzzy sound. And a lot of the guys used to use those. A few famous um, guitarists that you might recognize today would be uh, Slash, of course, because this is his signature pedal. Um, Jimi Hendrix used one. And I know that a few other guys, like Kenny Wayne Shepard, used them. So going over the controls, you've got a volume, a tone, and then an overall fuzz level, which controls the fuzz over the whole pedal. Over here you have the sub-octave and the octave-up controls, which basically allow you to have three different uh, signals coming out of your amp, where, which will be an octave-down, an octave, wherever you're playing, and then an octave-up. And this is pretty interesting because... When you hit the up button, it only puts the fuzz on the octave up, which is kind of weird. So when you turn this pedal on, you will only have access to the sub octave. There will be no fuzz. That's just how the pedal works. When you hit the up button, you are then activating the octave up and it turns on the fuzz feature. If you'd like to fuzz the whole signal, meaning the sub octave and the original signal, you hit the sub into fuzz, and then you will have fuzzy sub octave, fuzzy octave up, and fuzzy dry signal, which is very, very cool. You can also turn down the sub octave and just use this as a standard fuzz, which is very, very cool. If we take off the back, you have a view of the PCB on the inside. What's cool about this is they did leave you these micro controls, which allow you to adjust the gain and the tone of the fuzz. I have my fuzz set uh, pretty high with the gain, and the tone is a little rolled off just a little bit, but we will be able to demonstrate the full spectrum of tones with the EQ on the front. Before we go any farther, I would like to congratulate MXR on creating a uh, really, really durable pedal. This thing weighs a lot, and you can tell it has very high quality components. Switches feel great, very reassuring click, and the finish is just uh, one of the coolest I've ever seen. So let's get some tones. Just so you guys know, all the guitar tracks on this demo are recorded with my Fender American Special Stratocaster. I'm um, using only the neck pickup. Just because I know that that sound is very iconic with the fuzz and octave sound. Also, I'm going to be using my Mesa Mark 525 for all the guitar tones. Um, I have it set on the Mark II setting and with very low gain so that we allow the fuzz to do a lot of the work. But I am keeping it at a moderate crunch, and you will hear how that sounds. To start, let's hear a clip with just the dry signal. <laughs> And now I'm going to play a clip of the sub octave with no fuzz. Now I'm going to play the upper octave with no sub octave and a slight amount of fuzz. Now I'm going to show you what the sub octave sounds like with the fuzz engaged. There is no upper octave.
Finally, I have the sub octave engaged with the fuzz and the upper octave. So you'll be able to hear the full octave fuzz effect of the pedal. Thanks to everybody for checking out my demo of the MXR slash Octafuzz. The last thing I'll be including is a song that I wrote, which includes the Octafuzz, all Octafuzz, all the guitar tracks are the Octafuzz with the uh, separate settings, and it really just shows how it sits in the mix. Thank you again for watching. See you guys next time. I'm Gabe Ziegler. You guys were awesome. See you later.